my name is Key Light and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to get into our Sunday school lesson called Incorruptible Leaders. Ooh, what does it mean to be a leader? And what does it mean to be incorruptible? Well, we're going to find that out in today's Sunday school lesson. So make sure you like, comment, and definitely subscribe. So today's Sunday school lesson is going to come from Deuteronomy chapter 16, verses 18 through 20. And then we're going to jump to chapter 17, verse 8 through 13. So let's get right into it. So if you know anything about Deuteronomy, Moses is the author and he talks about the guidelines for future leaders. They need to have these expectations or God's expectations follow through. So let's get right into my rhetorical questions. Comment down below, what do you all think incorruptible means? Making the right choice, not being biased, I would suspect, right? And what does it truly mean to be a leader? Well, let's think about the opposite, a follower. So to be a leader, you need to be able to stand up for what is right, treat people fairly, and always do the right thing, especially in terms of God's word. So we are going to get right into that. How do we decipher and make the right decision in electing and having people in office to be the incorruptible leader? So first, let's get into Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 18 through 20. And of course, you always know, I read the Message Translation Bible. Appoint judges and officers organized by tribes in all the towns that God, your God, is giving you. They are to judge the people fairly and honestly. Don't twist the law. Don't play favorites. Don't take a bribe. A bribe blinds even a wise person. It undermines the intentions of the best of people. The right, the right, pursue only what's right. It's only, it's the only way you can really live the and possess the land that God, your God, is giving you. So here we have making sure that we do the right thing in electing people, in electing leaders who are not corrupt, people who are fair and honest, people who actually tell the truth and the necessary truth. You know, this is very relatable in today's society with everything that's going on and hopefully each and every one of you are being safe right now. And with what we're going through, especially when it comes to our health, that we are electing leaders that have our best interests and also is doing the will of God. We have to keep that in mind. When we're putting people in leadership positions, even at work, let's not even talk about the government, even at work, even in our jobs, even in our relationships, choosing people who are fair and honest at all times, not letting money be the factor of why they are making decisions, but deciding that it is God's will, it is God's love and patience that got them in this position to do the right thing. We have to be so sure in making sure that whoever we choose is going to do the right thing for us, especially when it comes to our health and our well-being mentally, physically, and emotionally. Now let's finish off with Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 8 through 13. When matters of justice come up that are too much for you, hard cases regarding homicides, legal disputes, fights, take them up to the central place of worship that God, your God, has designated. Bring them to the Levitical priest, the judge who is in office at the time. Consult them and they all and they will hand down the decision for you. Then carry out their verdict at the place designated by God, your God. Do what they tell you in exactly the way they tell you. Follow their instructions precisely. Don't leave out anything. Don't add anything. Anyone who presumes to override or twist the decision handed down by the priest or judge who is acting in the presence of God, your God is good as dead. Root him out. 
rid Israel of evil, everything will take notice and be impressed. That will put an end to presumptuous behavior. So we last leave off in making sure that we do the right thing and going to others and going to our leaders whenever there is a dispute, a conflict, something that we need resolved. You all realize when we are talking about the will of God, when we have pastors, preachers, Sunday school teachers, we need to trust in people that are going to be fair, that are going to be honest and not corrupt. When you go to a leader, they should be able to make the right decision, do the right thing that is fair for all individuals. We have to trust our intuition. And this is the point where we have to recognize God within us so that we can elect the Jesus and God within them. Leadership comes in many form and we are all leaders. As we are leaders in God, we have to make sure that we are not corrupt, that we are fair, that we are honest, and that we are showing love from day to day so that when people trust us to do the right thing, we can show our true leadership skills. I hope you all enjoyed this lesson. Until next time, and I love you all.